Welcome to Vlogmas episode 20. Today we are in Vermont and we're going to Billings Farm to experience a very Victorian Christmas. So this is the main visitor center here at this farm and this farm is huge and it is an actual working farm where they have um, dairy cattle and they have this spectacular visitor center with a museum and everything about the history of dairy farming. It's, it's pretty spectacular. I did not expect it, all this when we decided to come here. Hello. I got tickets online. Bring your student ID card, please. You are all set. And these are your admission stickers. You're just going to wear them on your shirts okay. while you're on the site. You're welcome to take one of these maps if you like. Awesome. Uh, so then we have these activities here on the board that are also included with your admission. Okay, and um, where, like, where are? So the cow programs will be in the barn. Okay. And the Victorian uh, Christmas program will be right in the 1890s farm manager. And shop. right now we're here. We're here. Okay. Um, All right. They are doing candles, um, making upstairs here. Okay. And then in the learning kitchen, you can make a little mince pie. Okay. So this is the mildest. Okay. And then this, you know, if you bought it in the store, it would probably be uh, sharp cheese. And then this is. Thank you. Oh, so that's a butter chip. Okay. Oh, that's good. The butter cheddar is really good. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Yeah, no, I'm more into the reserve. That's my speed. The Woodstock or the smoke? The Woodstock Reserve. Thank you. That one was good. I agree. Mm. The reserve is the, is the I best. I love the butter cheddar. Do you have a garbage back there? So I put them in order. Mince pies Yeah, first. we'll bake them first. Let's bake the mince pies first. Those are there. <laughs> okay. Hello. Make a mini mince pie. Oh. Make ooh. Sadly, I had the wrong settings on my camera, so the video did not turn out as expected. So I do have some photos of the mince pie making process here. So I'm going to put these in here for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. User error. <laughs> Once we finish the mince pies, they put them in the oven for us, and they are supposed to bake for about half an hour or so. So while those were in the oven baking, we went upstairs to do the candle making process. So we selected a wick that had a piece of tape on it. We put our initials on there, and then you're supposed to dip it quickly into the wax and then walk around the tables. So one lap around the tables would give just enough time to, for the wax to set enough for you to dip it into the wax again so yeah it was just a a dip and repeat process until you had a candle <laughs> and it helped me get my steps in for the day too so bonus and then I took this video of the table so you could read the little um, notes that they had put on the table so as you were walking around you know they had these motivational things great job keep moving um, and your candle when done should be no wider than your pinky finger. So just these things to help keep you going. I thought it was great. <laughs> and here is my finished candle. Now I just have to set it out to dry completely. They had some really great decorations up in the farm too. So Ellen and I go over to this little scene they have set up. We climb into the little sleigh and decide to take some selfies of ourselves. So, um, yep, I'll put some of those pictures in here that we took as well. Um, and then I also took some pictures of us along with Margie and Henry in front of the Christmas tree as well. So I'll show you some of those pictures here too. <laughs> it was a really good, really good day. And the weather was actually beautiful. Then this here, the, so these are all gingerbread houses that are made by some of the employees that work here at Billings Farm. So they have a ginger, um, gingerbread house contest. So we, as the guests, got to vote on which one we thought would should be the winner. 
So after you look at them and you take your little voting slip, then you put it in here to vote for your favorite gingerbread house. And we should know in a few more days which one actually won the contest. Then they also had this station set up that was for coffee or hot chocolate. And you could also get some s'mores that you could go outside and cook um, over their fire pits. Then we went down to the dairy barn and they had a little lesson to teach people about dairy um, cows and stuff. And they explained that they use Jersey cows specifically because they have the highest fat content in their uh, milk and the cream. So yeah, I loved hearing about all that. And then last we went on a tour through the, um, the house the main um, residence house on the property and then also through the creamery which is below like in the basement of the house so i'm going to show you some pictures of the house here again i had used the wrong settings on my 360 camera and the video was not what i expected it to be so i'm going to just show you a lot of pictures of the uh, decorations of the Victorian Christmas and everything and then lastly show you some pictures in the basement of the house um, which is where the creamery is actually located so the cisterns and all the butter making material um, butter making tools and all this stuff like that so enjoy these photos and I'll play some Christmas music for you as well while you check out the photos Once we finished the day, we decided to head back to our hotel to get dinner, not because we wanted to go there for dinner, it was because apparently in Vermont, very few places are open on Mondays and Tuesdays, so we didn't have many other choices as far as food options. <laughs> so, but we did have a wonderful day at Billings Farm and... I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and share this video with anyone else you think might enjoy it as well. And we'll see you in the next one.